First, we perform this multiplication, 7 over 4 times 4, we can easily cancel this 4 and this 4, leaving only 7. Finally, 7 divided by 7 gives us 1. But this answer is not correct because we did not follow one of the most important rules in mathematics called the order of operations. The order of operations tells us that when we face a mathematical expression, we cannot start solving it from anywhere we like, instead, we must follow a specific order called the correct order of operations. The correct order of operations is known by a short acronym called PEMDAS. P stands for parentheses. E stands for exponents and roots. M stands for multiplication. D stands for division. A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. According to PEMDAS, in any mathematical expression, we first calculate parentheses, then exponents and roots, then multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. Remember that multiplication and division have equal priority. In any expression that has both multiplication and division, we move from left to right and perform whichever we reach first. This rule also applies to addition and subtraction. Now, with these explanations, let's solve the question from the beginning of the video. But before solving it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, ask them in the comments. In this expression, 7 divided by 7 over 4 times 4, there is both division and multiplication. If we move from left to right, we first encounter division, so we first calculate 7 divided by 7 over 4. To solve this part, we use the KCF rule. K stands for keep, C stands for change, and F stands for flip. The KCF rule is a simple rule for dividing fractions. According to this rule, we keep the first number as it is, change the division sign to multiplication, and flip the second number. According to the KCF rule, we keep 7 over 4 as it is, change division to multiplication, and flip 7 over 4. This gives 7 times 4 over 7, the 7s cancel each other out, leaving only 4. Finally, 4 times 4 gives us 16, which is our final answer. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like the video, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments, and I will definitely answer. Share it with your friends. And subscribe to the channel.